Lee Hori is a so-called legend in K-pop. She is one of the veteran singers who has changed the face of K-pop. From a poor little girl to a K-pop sensation and to the it girl. She is a strong woman that had to overcome a lot to be able to enjoy the life she has now. Here is the story of Lee Hori. Lee was born on May 10, 1979 in Osangri, South Korea. She grew up impoverished, in a barber shop of about 285 square feet. Years later, she opened up about her difficult childhood. During her appearance on the Oppa of Teg Baki House she said, My parents had my three siblings and I in the countryside. Then, we moved to Seoul with only 501, around 0 US dollars and 40 cents, in their hands. It was little money for the six of us, she shared that her parents often had to borrow money in order to support the family. They even opened up a barber shop. Lee then talked about her father, who she reveals was someone she was afraid of as he often hit her when he got angry. I used to be scared of my father. He was strict to us when we were young. When he got angry, he would hit me often as well, however, despite experiencing such treatment from her father, Lee adds that she somehow understands her father in a way, as she knows living in Seoul isn't easy. As life in Seoul was not easy, I think it was because he had a lot of anger and frustration in his mind. So I do understand him in a way, it is not like I hate him for that though. I love him. But I do have this scar on one part of my heart that he gave me. Her difficulties did not end at home, but then at school she would get in trouble. She was expelled once in middle school and then she was suspended during junior high school. Lee Hyery explained that she tried to enter a restricted area in their school and she was caught then she tried to run away, causing her to be suspended. While still attending school, she had a part-time job at a restaurant. I am confused about how she was discovered many websites say different things. One says she was scouted by an agency and cast by the manager of HOT and then joined SM Entertainment. Another one says she was discovered during a photo shoot with her friends by Daesung Entertainment. Others say that she was discovered while taking sticker pictures with her friends. If anyone knows which one is the correct one, please comment below. Hori was the last and the oldest member to join FinK.L. FinK.L debuted officially on May 22, 1998, with their first single Blue Rain. The second release from their debut album, To My Boyfriend, became the first of their multiple number one hits. FinK.L became one of the most popular and successful South Korean pop groups of all time, rivaling fellow popular girl group SES. During their era Finn K.L released many great hits. Here are some of them. The girls would quite often get into fights, as Hori has a strong personality, she always wanted to wear the prettiest clothes and be in the center, and, of course, other members did not like that. Also, when they appeared on Camping Club they talked about their fights and most of them were due to their different personalities. Hori said. We were in college and so we wanted to play and have some fun, but Lee Jean was the daughter of Korean military officer, and Sung Yuri the daughter of a pastor. They were both really quiet. One time after a night of drinking, I threw up while waiting for a music program to begin, I also happened to be wearing a trendy fashion item that was in at the time, so the members could have thought that I was some kind of delinquent. A small argument grew into an intense heated fight, we were trying to decide what to eat, and Jean and I ended up grabbing each other's hair and going at it. Our manager had to stop the car and separate us. Even though we just had a fight, we had to stand on stage right after. A year after Finn K.L's fourth studio album Forever, the girls decided to concentrate on their solo projects. Hori's solo debut album was released in August 2003, entitled Stylish. The lead single 10 Minutes became one of her signature hits and the singer nearly swept all daysings, winning more than seven of them, including three of the four most prestigious daysings.
her popularity in her various activities eventually was dubbed the Hori Syndrome in South Korea, and the Korean media nicknamed 2003 the Year of Hori as she was rarely out of the news all year. She then made her acting debut in the 16-episode drama series, Three Leaf Clover. However, the series received low ratings and she was criticized as a misplaced character and viewers claimed that she was no match for a character so downtrodden. During breaks in her solo music career, Lee also hosted various television programs, including Time Machine and Happy Together, which she co-hosted with Yoo Jae-suk in 2006. Within years, she had hosted and appeared in many variety shows and people loved her. Her strong personality and humor people enjoyed. Her third studio album, It's Higherish, was released on July 14, 2008. You Go Girl, the first single from the album, peaked at number one on online and offline charts, including various television music shows. Almost two years after her previous album, Lee returned with H Logic on April 12, 2010, collaborating with Daesung from Big Bang, John Jiyun from 4 Minute, Becca from After School, Gary from Lee Sing. Soon after the release of the album H Logic, seven of its songs, composed by Bonus, were accused of plagiarism. On June 21, 2010, Lee admitted that the plagiarism accusations against her album were true, saying she had been deceived, she temporarily stopped all her activities as a singer and suspended her TV appearances. While being on hiatus, she became as one of the country's most high-profile animals' rights activists. In 2011, Lee released two charity songs for donation to animal shelters. She came back to the stage with the track Miss Korea in 2013. Upon her album, Monochrome, release, eight tracks were ranked in the top 10 on many music charts. She then performed Bad Girls at the 2013 SBS Gao Taejun televised concert along with CL, which became one of the most iconic performances. The same year, she married musician Lee sang Soon on Jeju Island. Both of them are members of an animal rights group and began dating after they collaborated in July 2011 on a song that Lee recorded to support animal shelters. In May 2015, Lee announced that she closed her blog as well as her Twitter account, along with shutting down her social media, she stopped all of her television activities. In October of that year, Lee's representative told media outlets that she would be taking a two-year hiatus from her entertainment career in order to have time for herself. In April 2017, it was announced that Lee would be starring with her husband in a new variety show entitled Hori's Homestay. Everybody was excited about seeing Lee Hori again on screen and the show became a huge success. The same year, she released two songs, Black and Soul. Hori's homestay made her fall in love again with variety shows. So she decided to appear on Hangout With You where they formed a band called SAC3 and later on she and other great singers formed a girl group for the show called Refund Sisters. Lee Hori is an iconic singer and a host. Her strong personality caused her problems but made her successful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming K-drama, K-pop content. Thanks for tuning in.